Oh, please. No, please, you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Have you seen what we've been looking at? Hey, we're back with Roofing Inspectors React Part 2. I'm Jeff Hawk, Technical Director for Sheffield Metals, and I've been involved in roofing inspections for 15 years. I'm Dave Stubbs, the Assistant Technical Director. I've been in the business for about 30 years. All right, here we go, round two. Let's jump on in. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Perfect example of what not to do. Ton of holes in the valley, you got panels that aren't covered, I mean. Well, it's, at least it's where all the water sits. Don't do that. Right, no bueno. Okay, this is how you... I, Hello, OSHA. <laughs> yeah, don't do this. Is there somebody in the driver's seat? No. I hope so. <laughs> sort of. That, There's alternate ways of getting the panels yes, to there, the roof. Yes, there are better methods to, to raise panels up to the roof. This is not one of them. Very nice. Uh, that's typical install. Get fasteners in the Z. Z closures are super tight. Yeah, panels are boxed. So just to clarify, when you put a screw in, it compresses butyl tape two inches on each side. Butyl tape works off compression. If you don't have the proper amount of screws in, your butyl tape isn't going to be compressed the whole length of the Z-closure. And that causes problems. Dirt, debris, everything else gets up in there. Next thing you know, your butyl tape doesn't stick. Water finds a way in. That looks good. Panels are boxed. There's not a tube of sealant trying to seal up gaps. Dirty, uh, yeah. but clean. Take clean it. install. Okay. Somebody bought stock and cock. Yes. Somebody loves the sealant. It's just not good. Yeah. It's so, not going to last. So, number one, as an inspector, you caulk stuff like that, we have no idea what the hell's going on. You know, I mean, we you can't see how, is that mitered? Is it two pieces together? I mean, what's happening? Yeah, they could be butted together and just caulked just, over. They think right. sealant is, is a weld. Right. Is that is that on a cleat? I mean, it's bucking water, which yeah. you lose a point for that one. But, I mean, even the counter flashing, you know, is... You know, certain times there's only so much you can do. Just a bunch of sealant on it isn't yeah. the proper execution. Yeah, flat out, something that's installed correctly shouldn't require that amount of sealant. Be my guest. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't look like a bad execution. Ridge. Offset cleat in the valley looks great. Yep. You know, it's going to get him. stripped in. Um, fastener spacing looks good. Panels look like they're hemmed. Yeah, yep. I mean, the butterfly clip in the middle one probably could have been executed a little bit better yeah. as far as the install being uh, more mid-range on the expansion portion of it. But Underlayment could have been a little flatter, but, I mean, honestly, we're we're being picky. A little bit, yeah. but that's what we do. Yep. The seat doesn't look like it's, it's sealed that great, especially to the adjacent panel. Yeah, on the left side. On the left side, and that looks like that's probably going to have a bunch of water built up because they could have flipped that Z to the other side of the seam to yeah, get and the water they, out of Yeah, I mean, they sealed the front of it, so it's like, is the back of it sealed? I mean, it's just a matter of time before that goes away. I'm, I'm more interested in the hole above the counter flashing. Above the wood siding. Between the wood siding, yeah. Correct. That's that's pretty open. That's a spot. And it's not just water you have to worry about, or at least consider. If you've got big holes, varmints, yeah, critters. bees, critters, insects, all kinds of stuff. I do like the metal on the side of the wood where they terminated. That looks nice. Yeah, that's a great termination. Yep. But let's let's go ahead and do 100%. Angle looks clean. I mean, oh. Once again. There's the hole. There's the hole. Bird's nest? Rat's nest. You know, whatever you want nest. I mean, big open holes going to be a problem. That needs to be accounted for either with some type of metal flashing or some type of additional siding that comes down and closes that off. Some sort of a closure. Big gaps like that aren't going to fly. And they just invite too many critters, too many problems. That's not a problem. Uh, that's an issue. I like they went all out and used all three holes. But you got to put the screws in right. Yeah, I mean, you're going to go to engage the next panel. You could very well have a problem if not, with it engaging. If nothing else, if you do walk on it, it's going to put a big dimple in your panel. And plus, if they aren't incorrectly, you can't count on those fasteners to have the strength that is required, you know, when you install this stuff. Yeah, you're not getting your optimal pullouts. Exactly. Period. That's a good install. I like it if they're ready to go ahead and put that next panel on. You want to make sure you don't put the sealant on too early because uh, it can set up and, you know. Yeah, you don't want it to skin over. That's a real yeah. issue. You know, cause TPs, you know, TPs at your eve. No, oh, but I mean the clip, the screws, stripped in, eve. stripped in eve. Looks good. Broke out the tape measure. 
Love it. It's a clean install. All I have to do now is strip that in. It's good to go. It's, it's nice to see that somebody took the time to put the tape on it before they stripped it in so that you can verify in case you can't see the screws. Golden. Please. Yeah, that looks like a reasonable execution. Again, broke out the tape measure. Corner looks nice. Yeah, they look. Z's are caulked. Yeah, they seamed it. Seamed the panel before they put the Z's on hey. to get the thing executed. Yeah, that's a, that's pretty clean. Yeah, I'm not upset with that at all. Well, you shouldn't be. Now you should be. Number one, you got the fastener head issue again. Number two, your panel shouldn't look like that. The other issue is, what the heck's going on with the underlayment? A lot. That underlayment should be laying down flat. It should look like... And the fact that you're installing a panel on top of it means that you probably, number one, aren't going to do anything about it. And number two, you just don't care. Yeah, you didn't care from the get-go. Yeah, I mean... So you're not going to care about the clip. Or the, or the panel. It's not going to look good. It's not going to look good. And, and the other part is, if you don't care now, and then you're going to get 20 panels down the road, and then somebody's going to say, oh, what's wrong with that panel? And you're going to be upset about it. You're going to be upset yeah. about it. Right. What do you mean? What's wrong? Yeah. Right. So you're either going to take off all those panels and try to reuse them, and they're probably out of tolerance by the time you take them off. You know, the installer's not going to replace the underlayment that's been compromised by all the panels being put on. It's that snowballing effect of cost look, and inefficiency. It, just, it look how hacked up the uh, box end of the panel is. I mean, just everything about it just screams, I don't care. They probably use those custom-made snips, the ones that are spoons with the rubber band between them. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh. I'm I'm still trying to look. So this is a this is a, a rake or gable. Well, I got that with hook. This is the they're gonna slide the, they're gonna slide the next one into it so they got it cut off. Correct. So it's it looks like it's a self gauging uh, rake cleat on a Z closure on a Z closure. Lap the right way. Lap properly. With, okay. With sealant that somebody had. There's on just the a lot of green all in one photo. There is a lot of green. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it looks I like mean, they laid their first panel and we're going to do right. the rake trim immediately. Not necessarily the most efficient way to do it, but it's it's one way to do it. Yeah, I mean, you can't tell anything as far as fastener spacings or anything like that, but... It doesn't look out of the necessarily out of the order. Yeah, from this angle, it doesn't look bad. That's a lot of chalk. Um, that's a lot of chalk and... I love... I love screw? They just cut the whole length of that panel off. Yeah, it's just flat. And it man. wasn't it wasn't laying too flat, so they just jammed a screw. That'll make it better. Right in the field. And if I'm not mistaken, chalk can affect the paint. Yeah, that's chalk right. out of the chalk box. Absolutely. And it looks like they didn't finish it up on the uh, on the left hand side there, where they just left the nail nail flange the hanging nail out. Flange, just fastener flange, just hanging out there with uh, that was fastener in it. Sorry. First problem is you're using the nail flange. Oh, please. No, please you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Have you seen what we've been looking at? <laughs> All right. Once again, we busted out of the tape, doing some offset cleat. I like it. S stripped in the uh, valley with shark skin. Again, certain things kind of show you how much people care and whatnot, and the fact that the fastener spacing's at the right right spacing, and that they're showing it with the tape measure. You know, they're at least trying to do things right. And the high quality screw. Oh, when we stripped it in. Okay. With that, I mean, they could. They could smooth that out a little bit, make sure that yeah. put, put a roller on it. Brush it. Brush it, roller it, something to, to smooth yeah. that out a little bit to make sure that it's adhered. And well, A lot of times, too, I mean, you know, you got to strip stuff in. You, you got to remember, you got to get all the crap off the deck before you go and stick it down. Yeah, I mean, it does look clean. I always suggest guys using blowers with all the, the new equipment, 20-volt, 18-volt yeah, blowers. battery power blower, leave it up there. Yeah. Well, wish I had that tool when I was installed. Go ahead. Oh, somebody should get a job as a cake decorator. <laughs> <laughs> I do weddings and birthdays. Right? <laughs> That's literally what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a big pile of frosting. Yep. Cock and paint will make a tin or what he ain't. Do your best and cock the rest. <laughs> I mean... Uh, there's not much to say about that. There's a lot to say about it, but this is a short video, so everything about it's wrong. Find somebody that knows what they're doing, because that's not the guy. It is on the downside. <laughs> we, we don't have a picture of the upside, so <laughs> I'm in fear. Of actually, there is like. no upside. <laughs> yeah. There is no upside to any of this. Yeah. All right, go ahead. You're, you're doing so well. Middle of installing it. Got your already have it marked out for the rest of the spacing. Yeah. Using a good screw. Not bad. All right. I like what you've done there. 
Those are the photos we have today. Make sure you check us out for part three of Roofing Inspectors React, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.